Okay, just a little short video here. The cabinet, countertop, whatever is a mess, but I just had to brag on my wife. She has been busy canning the green beans that we've grown in the garden. This right here is 20, about 20 quarts, I guess I could count. I think it's 21 quarts out of about 48 or 50 that she's done so far. And as you can see, we still got, still got a ways to go. <clears throat> so, the garden actually put out some good stuff. I love green beans and mashed potatoes. Oh my gosh. I could make two meals a day just off of those. But, anyway, like I say, just kind of showing off a little bit here. Like I say, counter's a mess, but canner has been going full speed all day today. We're quitting, going to eat some supper and watch a little Star Trek. <clears throat> and then uh, probably pick it up again tomorrow. There's the pieces that got snapped off. And there's some of the stuff and it's just it's a mess but it's a great mess the kind of mess we like so anyway um this is this is why i grow green beans you know I, I could almost do a whole video on this when you grow a garden especially if you're growing a garden for post shtf that kind of thing you want something that is going to put up a lot of food or produce a lot of food for the effort it takes and two or three of the things that are really good at that are squash yellow squash zucchini squash and green beans both of all three of those you get them going good and they make almost more food than you can eat at one time which is the whole idea because if you grow in a garden if you're growing food you want something that's going to grow more than just a couple of little tasty treats you know a lot of people like to grow lettuce and greens like that and those are nice i love a good salad but they don't put up the long-term high calorie high carbohydrate food that you need for a deal like that so anyway i like green beans green beans are great so that's it cheers y'all